guys? Welcome back to the podcast. Today we have another special guest. It's Jerry, and he flew or drove all the way in from Louisiana. And uh, today he requested the orange crush that we made when James was back on the podcast. So we're gonna make the orange crush. So if you guys forgot how to do it, starts off with two ounces of orange vodka. Could you turn up the ladder? I have to have the <laughs> fan to know what's going down. Two ounces of orange vodka. And then last time it was optional two ounces of Grand Marnay, so we are going to exercise that option. And exercise away, bro. We are. And then after that, we go with how many ounces of orange juice? We got two ounces of orange juice coming in hot. We're going to exercise. Exercise or drinking capabilities. Two ounces in. And that noise that you hear is feeding my out. He being bad mouth and uh, he is uphill trying to go on the podcast next time. So after you do that, you shake it. Good. Then you pour it into your iced glass. And like James said, you gotta leave room for some 7-Up and leave room for Jesus. And so you take the rest of your Sprite, or some of your Sprite, put it up there, and garnish with an orange naranja. Boy, the end. And that is an orange crush, ladies and gentlemen, in honor of James. And then we say, thank you, Jesus. Lance, do you have a C-clamp? Uh, no. Oh, okay. That'd be ideal. Don't worry. You want me to take that one? No, no, what, no, no. What's the good. problem with it? No, I, I was finding optimum ways to maximize table space, and I could just be like, oh, C-clamp. And uh, then it's at the perfect time. Or you could just hold it. Oh, this is, it works. I'm just... Yeah, if you turn it I'm sideways, then you can move the uh, the arm. Telescopic way to your mouth. Telescopic How does this sound? Now push it this way. ASMR. Yeah, you, and you can even turn that little base of it, too. Turn and then just turn base. the whole... Yeah, see? You and then you guys are all smarter than me. Are we on yet? Yeah, uh, yeah. Go ahead, put your headset on, and <laughs> I, it's been recording. So it's just this is just <laughs> this is just now our, it's recording. Uh, it's our pre-flight commentary. Now it's recording. <laughs> yeah. Oh man, that would have been gold. I'm sorry. Sorry. It's uh, still good. Yeah. <clears throat> Any twats? <laughs> What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the podcast. Um, as you watched the intro with three people, or two people, me and Jerry, and then now there's a, another guest, James. Um, it should have been captured on camera, but he came out at the wrong cue. Um, but nonetheless, <laughs> at least he finally it's came okay. out. Yeah, he Sometimes came out of the bathroom. Got to come out of the bathroom. Came out of the now. closet. That's all right. <laughs> <laughs> but there we go. Ooh, that was pretty good. Pretty good right now. Uh, but nonetheless, yeah. So we have uh, James and Jerry back with another. J and J show. <laughs> Cue the cheesy little animation I made. <laughs> now that we're back from that, we dig the cheese, man. <laughs> Jerry, did you see uh, the animation that I made last time for the last podcast that you and James were on? When it said the J and J show. <laughs> I saw the whole thing. Oh, Bishop. So. <laughs> he was like, yeah. I was there. <laughs> yeah, I, I saw the podcast. Well, I kept waiting yeah. for it to come out, and I would, I would go, damn, what's taking him so long? <laughs> An hour and a half be podcast. editing the hell out of that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, dude, yeah. that animation took me two hours to do. It was AIDS. But two hours worth it. It was. It was. And then in the, uh, the commercial I made, for last podcast, the uh, the Ford commercial Ford. that cost me two hundred dollars in stock footage, so <laughs> tax right off. I think you just need to start making your own stock footage and sell it to other people. Oh, I could after looking through Pond Five. Oh, mm. dude, that, that, all that's just dog shit. Well, so. the fans were really their comments were good for you. Were they roasting me? No. Mm. I try not to read a lot of comments. <laughs> because a lot of times they're just roasting. Yeah. One comment, though, uh, it wasn't even on that podcast. It was another one. The fan came in and was like, we need Jerry back on. We think his glass is empty by now. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that's perfect. Oh, yeah. That's the perfect That comment. is perfect. Yeah. <laughs> I, I feel like it, when you watch our podcast, do you, uh, do you drink during it? Like, no, but I am. Something else. Oh, I got you. (laughs) He's on his medicine. He's on his medicine. Usually baked, man. (laughs) This is a safe space, Jerry. You can can say what you He just got done cooking his cereal. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) The Uh, dude abides. It's Mm -hmm. medical. It's for medical purposes only. Even if it ain't, you know? Yeah, I mean, that's better than drinking. You've lived your life. So, congratulations. 
You made it to victory lane. Yeah. <laughs> victory laps. Yeah. But uh, anyway, so we have one of the funniest stories yeah, from bring yesterday. <laughs> and uh, What y'all done did yesterday? We went fishing. Oh, we yeah. did. It was a last minute thing Friday nice. afternoon. Or, yeah, Friday afternoon. Like um, deep sea fishing? Yeah. Dude, I bet that was hell. It was. Opening snapper season and the billfish tournament oh, uh, and snapper, it's Memorial Day. Snapper doesn't start until June 1st. Really? Yeah, for, it's, Florida, for Florida. For Florida. It's okay. June 1st to August 31st. Okay. And then uh, DeSantis said gotcha. every weekend after that you can snapper fish, but gotcha. not during the week. And I was like, okay, that's bullshit. Dude, because a buddy of mine, they're doing the billfish tournament right now. And he posted on Facebook they got 11, 111-inch marlin oh, uh, two oh, days wow. ago. Yeah. yeah. So they're pretty stoked about the it. The captain did say that they saw a uh, a marlin last Thursday when they were out nice. just fishing regularly. <clears throat> uh, anyway, so <laughs> so we made this reservation uh, Friday evening for sun or Saturday morning. Where did it leave out of uh, Pensacola, like Pensacola Beach? Yeah. Ooh, I mean, oh, and it wasn't even bad. <laughs> it wasn't even bad. Oh man, it wasn't bad because I thought the same thing. Yeah, yeah. I well, thought the wait, exact same. Thing. What What's the thing that is the Gay Alphabet Pride. People's Weekend at Pensacola oh, Beach. Oh, that's right. It's been a thing before that thing was even cool to yeah. brag about. And, and, and the crazy thing is, is yesterday when we were out there, I only saw like one <clears throat> couple the entire time. Yep. And we went mm-hmm. and we ate at Hooters. And well, then, they're not going to be there. Yeah. <laughs> well, <laughs> then we walked down to Flounders to get a yeah. vibation. I bet they're all looking at y'all are like, them. yeah. Yeah. No, I there mean, they are, mom and dad. Yeah. There they are. <laughs> We didn't see a single one, and I was like, because I was, I was thinking yeah. that it was going to be like as bad as it was a so long I time. I think ago. a lot of them, man, they really get their privacy down by Portofino. Okay, and there's actually people in town now. They're retired. They go out there on Tuesday when they all leave, and they just leave their tents. So oh, they scrap they it for aluminum and stuff like oh. that. They just take them to the scrap. They just leave them up. They buy them. They put them in on the beach. They sit there all weekend, and then they go. They just leave them. Oh, so yeah. I, I thought that weekend was originally just this area, but my roommate in D.C. in the barracks was like, oh, yeah, I, I know about Pensacola. I go there, like, every Memorial Day, and I was yeah. like, mm. what do you mean? And he's like, no, like, it's just something we do in our community. And I was like, oh. Yeah, it's advertised. That's interesting. Majorly. So oh. when Captain Funds used to be out there, uh, oh. wow, mm. these things are going to make me Excuse <laughs> ribbit. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, you need Ju- another one, text and have yeah, her come out. Yeah, because, yeah, yeah, Crystal doesn't know that James is here, by the way. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but uh, Jubilees used to be there, and their Lobster Fest weekend was always Memorial Day weekend. It used to piss my dad off. You oh. know? Like, cool. I'd love to go down there and get a lobster, but that's not the tail I want to eat. Oh, <laughs> no. <laughs> I thought of this. I uh, can just picture tail. him saying that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he gets so pissed, you know. I ain't going down there. My ass. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to be saying my ass all right. <laughs> <laughs> my ass does hurt from this weekend. I'm not going to lie. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> let, me, let me say this. need to clarify I'll... that one. <laughs> <laughs> he said that after we got off the boat because the waves were so rough. I said, you can't be saying that out here right now during yeah. this. You can't say that. Just think of danger yourself. zone. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I was walking weird and everything. Oh, I'm not lie. no. <laughs> what happened on that boat? Yeah. I mean, yeah. he's what we call a bear. What he's happened with the bear? More of an otter, but okay. But I told, uh, I told Audrey and James, I said, next Memorial Day, I'm going to create merchandise. And one of my shirts, it's going to say, I got my ass eat at Pensacola Beach. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> It'll sell Damn. out. It'll sell out. Yeah, well, I'm going I'm yeah. to set up a tent, balloon tits, over by Portofino. <laughs> and that's where my main clientele are going to be. So you're pitching a tent on Memorial Day weekend at the beach? Yeah, balloon tits. So, Hold on, I got his button for that. Balloon tits. There it is. <laughs> Here's my one up. claim to fame uh, story on Pensacola Beach Memorial Day weekend. <clears throat> the Portofino condos, back when I worked at Hiller as mm-hmm. a service tech, me and uh, Mike Burke get called out for a false alarm. We have to respond. Make our way down there. Here it is. Standing in the elevator with us, elephant trunk tea bag. That's why I always say, oh, man, I need to bring my elephant trunk tea bag because we literally seen one standing right beside us. Oh, nice. And it's just like, you know, just ding dong, you know. Oh, Did you squeeze dong. it? Yeah. Did you squeeze it? You're like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what kind of tricks can you do with that thing, you know? Give it a peanut and find <laughs> out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, dude, that's where I think a lot of them 
go to Hank because yeah. it's like tent city mm-hmm. and dude, it's it's down there. Trust me, yeah. it's, it's there, a thing. Maybe, maybe those were the tents we saw coming back. Uh, possibly, yeah, Quite possibly, yeah, yeah, probably. Uh, you know, it's like Sand Island is what James mm-hmm. called it. Yeah, so out there yeah. they had a bunch of them right near the pass. Okay, so you could like see them from. When we were so they just the took over this area. So yeah. so that is okay. That is Fort McRae right there, mm-hmm. and then the big Sand Island, dude. That's been there like since when I was a kid. That's where we started um, camping. Oh, one okay. time we ever went camping, which I hate camping. You yeah. never fucking pay me to go camping. Again. Yeah, <laughs> camping. Yeah, ass. I work too damn hard to have AC and hot water. I'm never going camping again. Yeah, <laughs> camping to me doesn't miserable. Make sense. Yeah. yeah, and it was on Memorial Day weekend. But yeah, so all that what you see, they start setting up Thursday afternoon. That's like yeah. a whole thing. Uh, mm. okay. Yeah. <clears throat> see, I thought it was part of it, but it was very yeah. uh, cross the way to Fort Pickens now that way mm-hmm. yeah no that could be a thing oh, okay yeah because right there you have the triangle of which you know the mm-hmm. uh, forts you know mm-hmm. McRae Pickens and Barrancas but yeah so over here yeah you don't want to be there over here yeah that's <laughs> where you want to go yeah so we got to the dock at like six no right at like seven because we were leaving out okay. seven <clears throat> and uh we go out he's he tells us he's like all right we're gonna be doing what we're doing and he's he's like, we're going to hit this spot way down south, and then we're going to hit different spots mm-hmm. coming back. So we go to the first spot. We catch, uh, like, a trigger fish or two. Uh, start coming in. It was a lot of, like, bait fish and stuff. Dun-dun-dun. Hey. Look who's in. <laughs> That's why I texted you to bring me that. You can come on. Yeah. Everyone look at her booty. <laughs> she has her booty shorts on. She didn't even walk in front of the camera. She no. she was like, Dang. now we don't even. No, no one camera. knows who we were talking to. It's you want to want to come this way? Okay. Bye. <laughs> Magically, Matthew got another beer. She yeah. didn't walk on the camera so. through the power Just of editing. Keep doing this. Yeah. this is beer coming in. <laughs> I'm gonna find a, a funny picture of Crystal. Just have her like walk across the camera and back or motion track. Make this a green Boom. screen. Yeah, I, I should. I should do just that. a picture of her face for like five seconds. So the picture, like if you could go to the thumbnail uh, on the episode that she was in, when she's like, you know, just crop out her head and have it going, <laughs> <laughs> looking like Timmy coming across. Timmy, Timmy, Timmy. I might uh, cut out the audio of Timmy going Timmy, and then as she's going across. If, if I say Timmy, then <laughs> it might it might be like that. Timmy. <laughs> uh, but anyway, so we're going and we're fishing throughout the day. It's fine, great, whatever. Uh, it was a little bit rough, uh, yeah. And his oh, boat yeah. was just a twenty-seven foot, yeah, uh, like basically like a bay line. Yeah, those winds are coming out of the east, dude. It gets really rough. Just yeah. a twenty-seven foot. That's what it was. <laughs> That's small compared. I'm about to say, yeah. Normally, dude, they're thirty, forty, fifty plus Damn. easy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But um, anyway, so we're coming back, and he says, uh, we see. FWC coming, oh. and of course they light us up. Yeah, and this Always. is where it gets good. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you're ready for the the, the turn this story is going to take. Oh man! So we caught a few vermilion snapper, and I don't know the lengths of certain vermilion snapper yeah. or trigger fish that you're supposed to have. He did say that there was only, um, I think, the boat limit for trigger fish was six. Uh, two each, yeah, yeah. So, so, so six. So we hit our limit on trigger fish, and so at this point we we're just fishing for literally anything. Yeah, vermilion snapper, preferably, <laughs> but vermilion snapper needed to be ten. So FWC boards the boat, nice. goes through the fish cooler, and it's like, uh, do you have a measuring stick? Took the guy's measuring stick, and the vermilion snapper wasn't ten inches. Damn. And um, <clears throat> it's tough being ten inches. I'm yeah, yeah, yeah. You gotta stretch it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> we <just> step on <laughs> them and make them ten. Yeah. It's all about the angle. <laughs> it out. Yeah. yeah. Um, and so the FWC guy says, um, "This isn't ten inches." And the guy said, "Well, how long is it?" Our captain says, "Well, how long is it?" He's like, "Not ten inches." <laughs> and I was like, oh, "I know ten inches, pal." Yeah, no, I know you, ten inches. Do you know I what say. weekend it is? Yeah, you can go anywhere down Pensacola Beach and see ten inches. Yeah, <laughs> and especially that weekend. There. <laughs> so, so the captain says, "Well, I thought I had to be." And then you salute. Yeah. <laughs> well, when they came alongside us, right? I was kind of sitting midship, right? I was just kind of chilling, relaxing. Midship. Yeah. Ooh. I was sitting there. I was sitting there. It's not a big boat, so it's just kind of like off to the side. Yeah, you could just and, scoot over in your midship. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm, I'm like, oh, shit, they're coming. I'm like, 
I don't know what I can and can't say to them because they're law enforcement, but they're like glorified game wardens. So I'm yeah. like, I don't know. And so <laughs> when they're doing that, they come alongside and they're like, hey, aren't you, aren't you, aren't you the captain <laughs> from this ship? That's right. And I said, oh, this doesn't sound good. It sounds like a like, song from the I, 60s. <laughs> this is the difference between my mentality and Lance's, right? I was like, this is going to go south pretty quick. <laughs> See, um, <laughs> and, and the way when he worded it, he was talking about like a different, like the contender or something or the infiltrator or whatever the name of the boat was that he was on last time that FWC uh, stopped him. Okay. Mm-hmm. And they and the guy said, oh, yeah, I think I remember him, whatever. And then maybe the entertainer. Yeah. Something like, like, oh, this is, I was like, I don't know if this is good that police recognize yeah. you. It's either really yeah. good or really bad. <laughs> yeah. Cause and I was thinking that they were boys or something. They're like, yo, you remember him? Yeah. And then he's like, yeah. And I was like, okay. So oh, wow. in my mind, I'm thinking positively. He's thinking yeah. negatively. We're here. We're here. <laughs> I'm like, mm. I'm thinking like, all right, yeah, well, what? what? Because the guy yeah. hasn't given me any reason to doubt yeah. him. Let's or, just go with a maybe. <laughs> yeah. So um, he takes the fish, the vermilion, boards his boat, and he's like, look, I got to write you a ticket for this, Captain. You know, like, and then when he got back on the boat, the captain said to us, he's like, they take that shit very seriously. Mm-hmm. Like, you can't have a fish that's under the, the length that it's supposed to be. How much was the ticket? I don't know. Uh-huh. <clears throat> um, the captain... Thought it was going to be like around 150 bucks. Yeah. Um, but I'll get to that part. Okay. And, and um, so anyway, he the guy comes back onto the boat and then said, so where are you guys coming from? And I don't know where the fuck anything is. Yeah. <laughs> the water. <laughs> that I, way. Right. The I'm, Gulf. Have you I'm heard of it? five beers like deep at this point. Yeah. So he looks at me and he's like, did you see land? And I said, I don't know. <laughs> I, I'm not looking for land. I'm looking for fish. Like, I'm looking <laughs> down, man. Yeah, I Don't give a shit. Uh, but he's like, yeah, we've been patrolling the line, I guess, Florida, Florida state waters versus federal waters. And he did ask him if he was federally licensed and he wasn't, he was oh, only wow. state licensed. So I think that was another problem. Yeah. Well, how and far does state water go out? I have no idea. Uh, Louisiana, it's three miles, I think. Oh, yeah. we were going for a minute. He's, he yeah. looked back and he said, we'll be there in 30 minutes. And about 30 to 45 minutes later, yeah. he said, we'll be there in 10 minutes. Yeah. And then yeah. and then after the 10-minute mark, he said, we'll be there in 1.2 miles. I was like, <laughs> just get me there. Fuck. Maybe it's like, nine miles. I don't think. Maybe it's yeah, nine miles. I have no idea. Where but, going? Um, <clears throat> so the Google. So the guy, uh, the captain said, well, you can check my GPS. Yeah. And that's where he went wrong. Well, and, because And the cops were like, we've been watching you for a while. We saw you come from the south. And he's like, well, you can check my GPS. Yeah. And so that, that's a, a green flag or a green ticket, right, to go check this man's fucking yeah. uh, GPS. And so he starts clicking on shit and starts scrolling through his previous destinations and all this other nonsense. And then all of a sudden the captain says, hey, I don't want you looking through that anymore. I don't want you clicking on this or using that or doing that or whatever. And then he's like, well, a second ago you told me I could do this. He's like, yeah, well, I, I don't want you to do that anymore. Yep. So he took his fishing license, took his driver's license, went on the boat to write him a ticket, came back and said, um, your driver's license is expired. Or <laughs> no, uh, 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 suspended. suspended. Yep. And he's like, so we can't give that back to you. No wonder you found this guy last minute. I know. <laughs> Captain Ron I thought, down there. I he thought just, we got lucky. I was yeah. Like, yeah. And oh, wow. uh, so they took his driver's license. And I don't know if they gave him his fishing license back. Probably not because he no. wasn't federally permitted. So he got fucked there. Yeah. And right after that, we went straight back to the fucking uh, dock and got the fuck off of there. Yeah. He, not to mention, on the way back, he didn't have his rods uh, screwed down where the reel wouldn't fall off. The reel fell off, hit Audrey's hand, and now there's like a big ass bruise on the top of her hand. Wow! And um, then in the middle of him getting a, a citation, the citation didn't have an amount that he had to pay, and they were so far away from land that they assumed that like, oh, we don't have a good signal, but call that number and they'll tell you how to handle it. So we're assuming he got a court date. Yeah. And, and it doesn't sound like it's his first time. Yeah, no, he's definitely a repeat offender. He's sitting there yeah. taking us into federal waters where I'm thinking, okay, maybe I'm like, this guy have been knows there. the spots. Like, yeah. I'm like, yeah. well, cause he was taken and he's like, if it doesn't bite with, it probably like wasn't even his boat. Good. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> so what ended up happening? Cause when we got back he's to the like, dog, y'all want to go? <laughs> <laughs> I found the keys. We're good. <laughs> um, but I did, once we got back to, to the dock, I did Google, 
the website for the boat, the charter yeah. and everything. And it was him because okay. they said his name, FWC said his name okay. to him. So I was like, okay, that is his name. That is him. That's he's the owner of the company. The whole, that's crazy. Wow. But, um, what boat was, or what's the guy's name? Uh, his name's Jeremy. Okay. Um, but I did take a picture and it's the funniest thing of the <laughs> angle that I got, um, yeah. of FWC going through his shit. You look so guilty. In this Dude, movie. at yeah, some point is. with all that, I'd been like, look, if y'all are going to take him to jail, Jeez, does give me a right guilty. back. <laughs> yeah, he's guilty as fuck. He's looking through the wow. GPS. Like, yeah, yeah he's like, he looks like a permission. beaten dog. Mm -hmm. That was some blue ass water. That yeah, <clears throat> it was pretty outside. But so he took y'all way out because if it took you that long, mm -hmm. federal waters start three to nine nautical miles and extend to 200. And then, damn, yeah, yeah, we were going for a damn. minute. Yeah, y'all were deep in yeah, damn federal yeah. waters. Yeah, yeah but he, <laughs> how many? Two motors? No, just one. Oof. Yeah, the yeah. boat was rocking <laughs> bad, dude. And that's why, like, that's why wow. James said his ass hurt because we were constantly hitting these waves and it was just like pow yeah. pow. And then, um, <laughs> yeah, blame it on the waves. The waves like what I do to you. It wasn't the size of the boat; it was literally the motion of the ocean. Yeah. <laughs> Had the boat been bigger, it wouldn't hurt so bad. I'm like, I'm like going up and down. I didn't even sit on a seat the way out there, so it was just a plastic. <laughs> sir, <was> sir, like, <laughs> the rod holder's not a seat. <laughs> Please, the seat sitting. keeps going in my ass. So that's the rod holder. <laughs> I was wondering why I was so small. Why does this yeah. cleat feel so good? Oh yeah. fuck! Oh my god! It's double ended. <laughs> oh my god! The boat's name just pulled my hair. That's <laughs> a, <laughs> a spit on it. Yeah. <laughs> but oh, yeah, man. so that was our adventure yesterday. Then, not to mention, nice. we went to Hooters and then uh, Flounders, where James proceeded to have two diesel fuels. Then we nice. got Irish Wicks to go. <laughs> wow. Like, we pulled in there, and uh, yep. they gave us Irish Wicks to go. We just went up to the little stand there. Yeah. Bet that ass felt good after that. Yeah. I feel nothing. But the I way that... feeling good. The way the sit boat on the was jars. rocking, I, uh, like, I baited my hook and everything, and then I grabbed onto the, the Cobia Tower, yeah. and then I just, like, dropped it in, and then the boat would rock so hard it would throw me into the tower, and so Damn. now the bottom of my back hurts, and it's not from the ride. So the bottom of your back <laughs> and your his, ass hurts. You got his back blown out in my ass. Audrey has a bruise on her hand. <laughs> wow. There's some wow. stories we're not being told. I'm about to say. <laughs> I'm about to say. And that but, guy obviously looks like he was beaten. <laughs> yeah, it was rough yesterday out at Pensacola Beach say. on Memorial Day. I'm never going fishing with Lance ever. <laughs> And then but, they met us at the restaurant. Yeah. And then we proceeded to have, uh, uh, what are they called? Painkillers. Wow. Yeah. We were drinking all day, dude. That's... I wasn't drunk at all, and I don't know what was happening. <laughs> I almost fell asleep at the restaurant. Oh, shit. Damn. I was tired. It'd be but like that. it do. Sometimes people say it don't be like it do, but it do be like that sometimes. <laughs> it do feel like that. Uh, but... What you got? Oh, <laughs> nothing I'm compared to this. Yeah, no, listen to stories, man. I mean, I just got my typical news, but what about Jerry? Yeah. <clears throat> Can't compete, I guess. <laughs> Can't compete with <laughs> y'all's butt stories. <laughs> we did go golfing yeah. today. Uh, yeah. Me, uh, James, and Jerry. Matthew set this one out. I did. I uh, did yard work and... Oh. Had the kiddos. So not as much fun as golfing. No. Well, dude, as hot as it was, I was like, yeah. It I'm, was rough. Yeah. yeah it was it's, hot. it's hot. It's, it's smoldering. The, the heat index, man, it's just the humidity's like, ugh. What I, was the heat index? Anybody recall that? Dude, I thought it was like 101 or something. Yeah, I was about to say, it was in the 90s, just normal temp. Yeah. So, it was 91 leaving the golf course today. Yeah. I didn't even want to drink that much out there. That's, That's when you know it it's going to be a bad day. I poured two bottles of water on my head. Oh, yeah, it was like 91, so yeah, I'm sure it's close to 100. Mm -hmm. Only drank a beer and a half this time. Yeah. That's how. <laughs> but I killed that gator I got. That was true. <coughs> that mm. brought me back mm. to life. Yeah, then we uh, we ended up only golfing nine holes because it was it was way too yeah. hot. So. Uh, and y'all started, started whenever I like. Almost want to be finishing. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. It, it, last night being as late as it was, plus being up early and then all day in the sun, it was, mm -hmm. I was like, we got to do something like later in the morning. So yeah, 
But that's what we did. Mm. Mm. Ribbit. Ooh. <laughs> oh, I had a little bit more it in there, but that's all right. Very nice. Um, well, I do have two things that are kind of interesting. Two stories that go back to back. Mm-hmm. I don't know if you know the guy Morgan Spurlock. <clears throat> he was I, on that Super Size yeah, Me show. Yeah, yeah, I saw that. Where he so died. the guy, yeah, he died at fifty three. He's dead. Yeah, he died. He died like what was it yesterday or the day oh, before? Really? Uh, two days ago. Yeah. yeah. So his claim to fame was back in two thousand four, where he did a documentary. He ate McDonald's for thirty days straight. That's it. You know, breakfast, lunch, dinner. He gained almost twenty five pounds. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> so he passes away. They said it was from cancer complications from that or whatnot. But my thing is, so you have that story, and that's sad, okay? Mm-hmm. But then right below that, <laughs> on the same page, <clears throat> McDonald's is banned in Iceland since 2009. What? Yeah. They actually have the last hamburger and french fry in a case no from shit. 2009, and there's no mold. There's no, mm. there's no nothing. So Dang. it's kind of like, uh, hello. Wow. That's like what, Twinkies. <clears throat> that's what killed Youngblood. Yeah, I wonder if that's kind of like, you know, Illuminati piece it together. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, so it's banned in Iceland. They no longer sell uh, McDonald's so, since 2009. That's that's McDonald's did a clap back, right? After Super Size Me, they paid for this guy to eat 30 days of McDonald's, right? Yeah. They paid it, right? Shot a documentary, and he... He lost weight the entire time. Did they get That's to pick the his one meals? I heard yeah. about. What were they doing? Like, oh yeah, this is salt and it's Ozempic. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sprinkle me some Ozempic. <laughs> yeah. But Ozempic before it was cool. <laughs> yeah. I mean, he just he just ate McDonald's for every meal and lost weight. But he three times a day and three got to pick his whole day. thing. Yeah. Hmm. I wonder if they had like, oh, we're specially gonna yeah. take care of this one. Because there's know. a chef that, that I see on TikTok. And he's he was the chef at Hamburger University, which is actually a real place. Um, they send all the store managers for McDonald's to Hamburger University to go there to like learn the the bullshit. Mm-hmm. Well, there was a chef or the ex chef that used to teach there. Hold on, and- <clears throat> the guys at my McDonald's went to chef school. No, 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 not <laughs> only the store manager. The store manager went to Hamburger University. And um, cuz yeah. they need to go back. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, no, only the store managers go there. He can't do math, but he can cook a Big Mac. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know how really big this It's the numbers be. that get them. How many patties are supposed to be on this? Yeah. Mm. Yeah, no, I agree. Yeah, they fuck everything up, but um no, the store managers, they have to go there for a certain, like, it's like a couple of weeks or so just for, like, managerial training and how to operate a store and how to know how to do everything. But <laughs> that is <laughs> how awesome. Like, you sit there and you're like, this motherfucker doesn't know how to cook shit. Yeah. <laughs> I got a funny McDo- McDonald's story while we're on that. Um, so there was one time, my mom's going to hate me. She's going to kick me in the ass. But here we go. Uh-oh. So, um, <laughs> Many, many moons ago when I was in college, I used to work at McDonald's and um, I'm, I'm going to pride myself here for a second and say I was a trainer. I trained Ooh. everyone on how to do red things shirt? right. Yeah, I was a red shirt. Wow. Uh, nonetheless, they don't call them red shirts anymore. They're just literally trainers and now they put it on their badge so now they know that they're the HMFIC, the head motherfucker in charge. Yeah. Um, but anyway. Lead trainer, yo. Yeah, but there is this uh, this black dude I was training and it, that's important to the story. Um, <laughs> I was it's always important to I, the story. It was. It, I, I'm, I'm being honest. This is exactly how it happened and everyone laughed at the end of the story so please just indulge in the laughter and just take it for what it is for the comedy uh, yeah. that I have. Um, so I'm teaching him how to make like the hamburgers on the grill and the chicken on the grill and everything. And then we get to the bacon and he didn't change the setting on the bacon or on the grill for the bacon. Cause each, each setting or each item has a different setting on the grill for whatever you're cooking on there. Make it easy. Yeah. And he put it on like the grilled chicken setting which grilled chicken has the longest cook time of all the meat patties and everything else on the grill. So he put the bacon on there and um, he turned around and said, Mr. Lance, did I do this right? And <laughs> the bacon was burnt to piss. It was yeah. blacker than Can't night. you tell? <laughs> <laughs> nope, I said, not done yet. <laughs> <laughs> he said, Mr. Lance, did I do this right? I said, no, you didn't. Um, but it's okay. <laughs> 
bacon is like one of those things that you cook for anybody. Yeah. And it's okay. My grandma likes her bacon how she likes her men. Black. <laughs> and he f***ing <laughs> died laughing. <laughs> And it was also hilarious because my mom and mom all came through the drive through later that <laughs> evening. I, I was like, there she is. <laughs> that was cool that he laughed it yeah, off. Yeah, like he thought that. it was funny. Like, they everyone there loved me to death. I, mean, I just I <laughs> with everybody. I made everyone laugh. It was a good time. So <laughs> Miss Benita, she's uh this old black lady, and she I was her favorite, and she loved my mom to death. Like she'd be like, "Oh, your mom's so crazy! I love your mom. She's crazy." <laughs> but Benita, nice. what's her name? Yeah, Miss Benita. Benita, like the fish. Yeah, like that was her last name. It was Benita. I forgot what her first name was, but everyone just called her Miss Benita. I think that was my boss obviously it's name. Miss. <laughs> her first name's Miss. Last yeah. name Benita. <laughs> I accidentally went to <clears throat> In and Out Hamburger University equivalent when I went to L.A. In and out. Speaking of butt hurting, you went to the in and out. That's <laughs> right. My, my butt did not hurt. The university of it. Yeah. 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 University yeah. of butt hurt. Yeah. Um, not but, only was he looking for a good time, he's trying to get a PhD. I, I, I said, where can I apply? Yeah. PhU, butt hurt university. <laughs> and, and so I get off the plane and I'm like, all right, LA is crazy. I got to drive for like an hour and I'm still in LA. Like, let me get some in and out. Roll in, get to I don't food. like the way you say that. <laughs> Have you not been to In and Out? You live in San Diego. You've never in been to In and Out? It, uh, it's a hamburger place. It, it's I delicious. thought you had kids. I know. I'm just playing. Uh, oh, have you have you have you, have you had In and Out? No. Oh, dude, it's so yummy. But my wife has. They yeah. had Hardee's out there too. I ate at the Hardee's a couple of times. They made pretty good burgers. They have Hardee's. Out. I thought they had uh, Carl's Jr. Carl's Jr. Carl's Jr. We have Hardee's. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and they had the Hardys. Yeah, dude, In and Out. Whenever you, if you ever see an so In and Out, you go immediately. It's so yeah. good. It's the best. Oh, it's so yummy. It's Don't eat their fries. Though. Better than Dairy Queen. Oh, that's oh yeah. yes. <clears throat> yes. I'm gonna have to say yes. I'm gonna have to say to yes. me, it's a fancier Whataburger. I can fresher, that. fancier Whataburger. Who's it's, your favorite burger? Too. Oh, are you done with the In and Out? Nope. Thing? Not, no, not yet. Okay, we'll go. come back to it. Yeah. We'll come back to it. Um, so long story short, short story longer, uh, got off in the interstate, ate at this in and out and I start looking around the parking lot and I'm like, hamburger university, what the fuck? <laughs> and, and so there's a whole store across the street of in and out merch. So I got like a hoodie, it's like a tie dye hoodie and I started driving around after I left and I ended up in like their yacht, like yacht yards. So they got giant like construction sites or like uh, not construction sites, the uh, like logistic hubs, right? Mm -hmm. Of just storehouses, and I'm like, I'm about to get arrested for doing in and out in L.A. So. <laughs> doing in and out, <laughs> <laughs> doing the in and doing out. The in and out <laughs> I was only doing the in and out. <laughs> <laughs> well, here, are you going to prison now? You. <laughs> that's what. That's what she told me I was allowed to do. Okay, that's what I paid for. It, it was cheap. Nice. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> It'd be like that. So, so who, who's your favorite burger? Oh God, I'm gonna go last because maybe um, maybe one of them will say something. I like, honestly I, I like Burger King because it tastes like a grill. Me too. Oh, it's the closest thing you can get. The and, Whopper, and dude. Kicks if you get ass. their uh, the ultimate bacon one they have now, dude, that thing is oh, stout. Yeah, yeah, it's good. I haven't been to Burger King in a minute. <clears throat> it's really good. The one on Navy right outside of uh, Corey is probably the freshest one I think. I, I can't okay. stand Burger King. I feel like it's the all the other fast food restaurants. Bless like they just try to copy what they do at a lower quality. What? Like, I, I Burger think that's King Burger King. King. Burger, Burger, King's Burger King's breakfast, breakfast is yeah. tits. Their breakfast <laughs> ultimate loaded burrito is. They have burritos. Yes, dude. I've <laughs> only ever eaten the croissants because the croissants are dude, the tits. Everything right. that you yeah, it's a whole buffet. It has hash browns, the actual hash browns. Scrambled eggs, sausage, bacon, and cheese, and a burrito Fuck. like that big. I'm dude, going to Burger King. Heart attack, really heart attack, heart attack. <laughs> dude, I get a bacon and sausage croissant. I get two of them. Oh, yeah. I get that. I, yeah, the, I do like their breakfast. Now. Sausage, like egg, breakfast. and cheese croissants. The uh, best. Yeah. <laughs> I get but when you croissant. add bacon to it, it's a game changer. And then you get the hash browns. And you're like, oh, fuck. So they do have uh, the ultimate croissant now, which has all of that. 
Yeah, yeah. Okay. Bacon, yeah. yeah it that's has to be like at least a thousand thing. calories. Yeah, I'm I don't, sure I don't, it is. I'm not looking at the number, <laughs> baby. I'm going haul. I'm Look, getting it. If you're making that sacrifice, what's calories? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I do. Oh, and they don't stick is, because how fast they're about to be coming out of yeah. Oh, so God. you're gonna power <laughs> shit. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you're gonna blow the back out of you're that. You're gonna toilet. have to eat that on the toilet. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That, that's a good way to straight pipe your bowels. You're just yeah. like, look, we're lubing up everything with all the cancer and hormones and giantes and penises. The all giantes. Boom. Yeah. Right through it. Whatever they mix up in the sausage and the bacon to get yeah. it the way that it's it is. It's a whole new term to in and out. Yeah. <laughs> penises and giantes. Penis and giantes. Oh, man. Ugh. I think one of the reasons why I don't like Burger King is because they're on almost every Army and Air Force base. Uh, and if you've ever been... That's because they're so popular. Well, if yeah. you've ever been to an Army Air Force base and they have the lowest bidder possible for food restaurants, right? Uh, so true. a lot of times they don't have, like, the brand names. They have, like, off-brand, like, fast food chains, right? And they have the least productive workers ever working there. So it's like, anytime you go there, it's like, oh, I'm going to wait 30 minutes for my Burger King. You know, oh, yeah. you got to pay $20 an hour for work ethic nowadays. This is true. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> um, <laughs> that's the part that pisses me off. It's like, look, I, I, I ran McDonald's flawlessly for $8 an hour. I'll have you guys know. <laughs> Didn't they offer you money to stay? Oh, yeah. They tried to get me to stay when I left nice. to go to the call center. They said, uh, one of the managers pulled me in and he said, how much to make you stay? I said, pay me $20 an hour. Yeah, and my, I, my, my, how the turntables have changed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. How the turns have tabled. <laughs> exactly. I think, I think my favorite... Like burger restaurant is probably in and out for the cost. It's so cheap. You yeah. double double. Animal we just don't style. have them here, so yeah, it's hard to say. I I don't have I don't have them where I live. Yeah, it's hard for me to say too because In and Out is the tits, and every yeah. time I go to Vegas, I, I make it a point to go to In and Out. Like that. Let's say be what is your meals. favorite readily available? Readily available. Yeah, because then In and Out can't be it. Because yeah, In and Out well, is definitely really well, really. Would good. you go out of your way for Burger King? Oh. I know what In N Out can compete with. Um and W. Well, five guys. But oh my god, five guys. Damn it. Fucked up. The, uh, what is the place down on the street? Smith Burger. Smith Burger is better. Tops. I've never been in Tops. What? I've never had Tops. Okay, so Tops, <clears throat> dude, it's butcher paper. They wrap your burger up. Oh, and a saturated it's old school yeah. griddle. And then they give it in a brown paper bag. Do not set the bag in your lap. Oh, you're because fine. the whole thing turns to grease by the time yeah. you get out of the parking lot. Have you been to Blue Dot? <laughs> Well, yes. that's how the fries. I've never been there. So, is Tops better than Blue Dot? Oh. This is a Pizzacola well, podcast. <laughs> so, yeah, Blue Dot is more like sit down. Tops is nothing but a drive through. Okay. You know what I mean? So, it's yeah. kind of. Yeah. Have but. you been to Blue Dot? Yeah. <clears throat> is it yummy? Um, just don't ask for a cheeseburger because they'll just say, we don't have that, and then look at you stupid. Yeah. Yeah. I, I've that. heard that. I've heard that. See, I want to go, but I want to go with someone else yeah. so they can look like an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> but Tops, dude, they're really, really thin. You just get like two double meat cheeseburgers just because they smash the piss out of it. Boom, 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 boom. Wrap it up and go. And it's like five bucks. Nice. Yeah. I'm going to have to do that next time I'm on trip. Oh, you better go to a gas station and eat it on the toilet because, oh, dude, shit. that's one of those lube them up and come uh, out. Oh, there it is. Yeah. <laughs> do you get any sides with it or just? Uh, a... Tater tots. Okay, shit. Yep. God. Do they do they pre make them? Because there's a there's a <clears throat> like restaurant chain on the west coast that they pre make all their burgers and stuff, and then they just give it. to They you fast. do not, man. And they, I mean, they're you'll see a guy back there. He like little be meatballs, and he's just oh, they're smashing smash them. Yeah, they're smash burgers. That's why you get two doubles, and they're really yeah. really fun. okay. All right, readily <clears throat> available. Now that he said that, readily available. The best cheeseburger in Pensacola that I've had, besides Pearl and Horn, when they had theirs. Mm. <laughs> They've discontinued. The one that I can go right now and get is going to be at Doghouse, and mm. it's a it's called the Southern Charm, and it's got uh, caramelized onions. I get it with jalapenos and ranch. Oh yeah, it is f-ing delicious. Oh. And I will I will use three cans of the ranch <clears throat> when I or the whatever they're called. <laughs> yeah. I just, dude, it is so good. Just and they drink it. <laughs> yep, <laughs> I get me that with a um, the. Uh, Oh, what's the red from Pensacola Bay? Riptide Red. Yeah. I get a Riptide Red beer, and I have that. And I just set up a nice evening for myself. And then I get the... Um, <laughs> for myself. I get the, myself. the fries with ranch, bacon bits, and jalapenos. And it's f***ed up good. Damn. It is f***ed 
Costco. Del's good. Deli. It's a hot dog restaurant, but yeah. known for its burgers. Yeah, I make better hot dogs than that. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> there's at least two people here that you're can probably wrong. attest. You're not wrong. Now, you're, now you're bragging about your hot dogs I, right I, after In and Out on a boat. <laughs> your back, his ass. Yeah. It's all making Oz sense. Hand, it's yeah. I'm see, with you, bro. Yeah. See what type of weekend we have? It's all deadly. Tell me, I don't have the best wiener, James. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me. Ask me about my wiener. <laughs> then we went golfing and hit balls with yeah. long oh. sticks. Spent a little bit too much time at the ball washer too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Left all after, hot and sweaty. Dude, after Saturday, I need the ball washer. <laughs> <laughs> Me and a coworker, we went to this burger joint in San Diego once, and we got to the counter. Counter's up to here. And uh, we ordered the burgers and uh, whatever, and I looked down, and under the counter, you can see into where the cooks are, and there's just hamburger all over the floor, and it was just uh, nasty. Mm. And... <clears throat> We got our we got our meals when we went back to work and so the meat smelled rancid. Oh no. And the other guy was... ate his. I'm going, dude, I, I can't eat that shit. It was probably one of the best burgers you ever would have had though. Uh, <laughs> not with rancid meat. That'd be right. I mean <clears throat> the best food I had was at like hole in the wall restaurants that I would never want to go in, but I was like, oh, I'll try it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, That's but when the meat food. smells bad. Like, after yeah. it's been cooked, it's awful. Oh, after, yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. once you get past the smell, you got her licked. That's, That's what my dad always said. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. So, so while we're on the, the topic of, like, prepared foods and shit, Jerry, what's your take on Cafe Du Monde in New Orleans? Do you like that place or no? I don't know if I've been there. It's the beignet place. Oh hell yeah, I've been there. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It's called Cafe Du Monde. We've been going there all my life, but first thing I had to do was learn oh, not to God. breathe while I'm biting the shit. Because yeah. oh, the powder trigger. <clears throat> yeah. So I have a story, and this is why I will never go back to Cafe Du Monde <laughs> ever. Blasphemy. <laughs> uh, that I've heard that. I've heard that because I think when we got off the cruise, you were mm-hmm. talking about going to Cafe Du Monde, and I will never yeah. eat there. I don't give a shit. Yep. Um, two so shits. Not even two shit. Not even a third <laughs> shit. Nice. I have so many shits I won't give. I'm not going there. So uh, there was one time Audrey and I went to New Orleans. We were walking down the French Quarter, the whole thing. We had the best uh, grilled corn we've ever had. There's this guy, and he has them on mm. this like conveyor belt. Mm. Pulls them off, pulls the, the husk off, puts uh, Tony's Creole on there. All it's yeah. up. Yeah. And then he puts all kinds of popcorn salt on corn. That's why I do that here. Yeah. I, I do uh, popcorn <clears> salt. <throat> Uh, butter, obviously, a little bit of uh, garlic powder, and then Tony's Creole. Oh, it's all fucked up. It's what he did. Being in that thing. you like ranch, uh, get the ranch powder. Oh, oh, yeah. I didn't even. Oh, how do you? How do you fuck. do your corn? How yeah. do you cook your? Corn? I grill it. Me yeah. too. Because yeah. there's a grill corn station. Mm-hmm. Next time you go to the fair, go straight into the right where the stage is. He's usually oh, set up right that? there. Oh, yeah. bitch. He pulls it right off the grill, and then you just do whatever butter. Then he has all of those same seasonings. You just put whatever you want, then they wrap it up in the damn tinfoil, mm. and there you go. Dude, I had a life <coughs> hack. They sell uh, Kerrygold garlic butter, and mm. it already has, like, all the herbs and shit mixed in it. And I, like, do a little bit of that, and we'll put on the butter. Yeah. Ooh, good. Anyway, um, we had corn, and we are like, all right, we still hungry. <laughs> we walked by Cafe Du Monde. We got ourselves a table that overlooked like how they made the beignets and stuff. And there was this guy. He was dumping the, the shit into the mixer, smoking a cigarette, mid-dumpage. Damn. And I was like, <laughs> I was so appalled that there was a cigarette in the kitchen. Yeah. I was like, no way. <laughs> and I saw this motherfucker... The ash fall off his cigarette into the batter. And I said, I'm not eating here. It's going to be the best one you ever had. <laughs> I'm not eating here. That's probably the best beignets you'd ever have. Nope. <clears throat> well, I wouldn't know because I didn't have it. Because Audrey ordered some. I say, you can eat those by yeah. yourself. I'm getting the f*** out of here. <laughs> so she ate her beignets and I left. <laughs> That's funny you talk about beignets. A buddy of mine took his son and his family. He just turned 21, so they're in Bourbon Street right now. Oh, nice, bitch. They're at the Vintage, and he posted this this morning. Dude, look at these beignets. They're like pillows 
It was uh, pretty, good. Uh, pretty good. Yeah. Screenshot that oh, so I can that show I can show the fans. Yeah. It's uh it's something. I'm like, God dog, they look like little pillows of heaven. Make sure you save the picture. I used to make yeah, those. I used to make those. Oh really? And With cigarette time. ashes? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, one time I was I was dropping them in the pot of oil and it splashed oh. all over me. And I had little red dots all over me and it burnt like a oh, mofo. I I laid a wet towel on the counter, and I just laid on the towel. Yeah. Uh. So I got a question. Is a beignet just a fluffier pillow version of New Orleans version of a funnel cake? I I often wonder that because it's it's the same flavor profile. It's the same ingredients. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. it's the same shit. It's and if you a, go to Joe Patty's and you bring out your receipt, and if it's over like 50 bucks, which, you know, anything's worth 50 bucks, yeah. they give you like a free little tub of beignets out of the little food truck. Yeah. Do you remember a long time ago, I, Joe Patty's may have done it, but I know the Navy base did it and outside of Walmart's, especially the one on Mobile Highway, because Mama would take us to uh, Walmart and we'd go there and they'd have this uh, fried donut stand. Mm-hmm. Remember those? Yes. And they'd go in oh, the little boat yes. and they'd flip over and then they'd go back the other way and then they'd pull them out and then they'd put powdered yeah. sugar on top or cinnamon or whatever. And it's I- Best thing Yummy. for that guy is they finally let him in the store, and he was like, right? They used to have a food court in that Walmart because we'd always get popcorn, and they had a butter, and I thought that was cool. Oh, it was yeah. like drizzly butter, and I'd just like juice it up, you know, <laughs> to where your popcorn's like mushy. My mom never understood it, but it was the only way to get me to go to Walmart. Dude, kids will <laughs> yeah. never understand the Target popcorn. Yeah. That was, that was, you were Bill Gates rich yeah. if you could get Target popcorn. Oh, yeah. But that and donut that guy, t- oh my God. How do you get those nowadays? <sighs> I, Man, I don't know. Them forever. Yeah. I looked up those vats because one day I was, I was talking to Logan about it and he like vaguely remembered it. Yeah. And I was like, oh, God damn it. I don't know. I don't know how to explain this to people yeah. because unless you lived in Pensacola, you don't know what those, those little donuts were. Yeah. <laughs> and they used to have them at the Navy exchange and at the Walmart on mobile highway. And uh, mama would get her hair done and I'd give me some donuts and yeah. then we'd go to Walmart and I'd give me some donuts. That's probably why I was so big, but <laughs> you were hungry. I was hungry. Well, that Walmart also had a guy that did airbrushing. That was back in the day. Yeah. Was yeah. Yeah. My mom had a whole wardrobe of mouse airbrush sweatshirts. Dude, my T-ball <laughs> helmets name on all it. were airbrushed. Oh, yeah. <laughs> With your damn name on yeah. it. Like, just in case if she forgets who what her name is, it says Cheryl right underneath the mouse. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> dude, my T-ball helmets were the tits. Like, yeah. I had flames on a baseball, dude. I was, yeah, that gave me three more running horsepower. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nag power. Yeah. Nag power, yeah. yeah. Oh, dude, I, I, I forgot about the airbrush shit. That's, that used to be in every Walmart yeah. around here, dude. That's, this is a nostalgic they to, podcast. They used to have, like, a, a truck out front, and they'd have, like, displays. There's, like, a trailer. <laughs> And, well, y'all uh, should have seen that at Jackson Square in New Orleans. They still do that crap around. The- oh, the airbrush. Oh, okay, they'll, they'll paint the caricatures and then they'll they'll do some airbrush art too. Mm-hmm. I really love the savage, the savage caricatures. Those crack me up. Yes. Uh, have you seen up. him on Instagram? Uh uh-uh. Oh my <laughs> god! I think I think he does it in Hawaii. Yep. 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 And uh, there's this guy, and so like. Oh, I don't even. So you know how my ears are like just absolutely ginormous. <laughs> so what, you have to go to Hawaii. Don't know what he's talking about. Yeah, for for the caricature <laughs> thing. Um, so there's this guy I, or chick who does them on the side of the road in in Hawaii. Ah, uh, yes. And I know you're and so like, let's say my ears are really really big. He'll make me look like a, an elephant. And then put like Audrey, yeah, in my ear or something, and that's the. <laughs> I just seen one yesterday. This woman, she's a bigger woman, but she wore a tank top, so her bazoos were like way out <laughs> <Bazoos>. here. <clears throat> so he drew her and it was three of her friends. He drew her and her boobs looked like an island, and then he drew her the three <laughs> friends sitting on her boobs like and having a drink. Dude, yeah. I love those. I I watch. Er- er- Every time one comes across my feed, I watch it because it's yeah. so, it's so funny. And then there's one dude who has the biggest f-ing schnoz you've ever seen, <laughs> and he drew his wife coming out of yeah. his nose. <laughs> you better have a sense of humor because he's gonna find every flaw. <laughs> he's gonna ruin you and just yeah expose it to the fullest. It's, it's like oh, so is that a freckle? Cool. And then it's like a butthole on your cheek yeah, or something. It's you know? awful. 
Yeah, it's awful. <laughs> um, guys, if you guys don't don't mind, I'm going to take a, a a quick piss break because I'm I'm floating over here. So yeah, I'll let's be take right a break. There. Yeah, un, un momento. So y'all, I'm going to keep recording. So this but. is just the opportunity for more commercial, <laughs> more commercial. Yeah. I thought so, Jerry's about to come pee with you. <laughs> I was going to take a smoke break. break. It wouldn't even be a thing after the boat ride you just had. <laughs> Holding each other's wieners and peeing is a thing. That's normal. I had no problem going to the bathroom after the boat ride. No, hell no. The problem is quit going to the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> we need some kind of plug. Well, while we were uh, getting detained by FWC, Lance had to piss really bad. And he was like, we're going <laughs> back. And so he was like, is it illegal for me to piss off the side of this boat? I don't think so. And... How can you relax I, enough like, to do that? That's what I would. Yeah. I mean, but the the boat was like this. We were here in front of it. So they were just looking at us, making their yeah. like, don't reach for me when I board the boat, like blah, blah, blah. And I was like, like, that's not a problem. I don't even want you on this boat. <laughs> I, <was> like, <laughs> I hope you actually fall in secretly <laughs> in my head. I was like, well, I don't know if it's illegal to piss, like, because you're exposing yourself in front yeah. of a cop, like, Everyone does it on a boat, but like, I don't yeah. know if it's actually okay. And so he takes a piss at the front of the boat and he fills up a Whataburger cup. Nice. And then dumps it in the ocean. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm about to say my biggest fear would be something biting me or how cold the water is. Letting it hang on the side of a boat, you know? I'm back. <clears throat> yeah, I don't know. Uh, I guess y'all didn't see Doors it. Open. <laughs> yeah, I think the exposing part would be. The only thing that would be wrong with that. Yeah, I, d- is, I just wasn't sure. Like, I know everyone does it. I yeah. just didn't know if Obviously, it was just like, jump into the water and do it, and then, you know. Yeah. But I have yeah. one more thing, but I have to have Odd bring it. Hold on, <laughs> hold, on hold on. No, we're, we're going to call her. We're going to see. Ring, 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 ring. Let me make sure my Bluetooth is off. Uh, I don't want to. You can connect to your phone there. Mm-hmm. That's why we play the sounds and yeah. stuff. Oh. Yeah. Connecto Patronum? Who's sure? That's smart. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know if you've seen the B note podcast. We're looking at random B notes trying to make each other poop <laughs> on the headphones. Yeah, that's how I was going yeah. through there on Bluetooth. Oh, okay. <clears throat> I didn't know if you guys like were playing that on the computer. I no, no, no. Yeah, phone. this is it right here. It's recorded live. Yeah, this has to search and then Lance. Don't feel bad. Normally, when I call women, they don't answer either. <laughs> well, I'm, not, yeah. <laughs> I'm trying it's to my just, wife. <laughs> yeah, well, she won't even answer. I'm, oh, I think we're there. I think we're there. All right, hold on. Yeah, I will say I got one turned off. Hello. And all of us can talk. We yeah. can, can hear all, all talk, and it sounds perfect. Yeah. yeah. Oh my god. Awesome. Is this yeah. how the prank shows do it? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Make her tell a joke. Yeah, I'm going to. Yeah. If she sends me, we're gonna leave her a voicemail. This is good. This is really good. Come on, baby, you can do it. We'll just leave her a voicemail of their remaining podcast, like, the next 10 minutes. Your call has been forwarded to voicemail. (laughs) The person you're trying to reach is not available. At the tone, please record your message. When you have finished recording, you may hang up. This is your husband. (laughs) And (laughs) you... (laughs) balloon tits Boom. and i can't wait to listen to that part on the voicemail after i get done hearing you i <laughs> called you oh this is a story time oh she already knew what you wanted yeah i yeah that um, looks worse honey, than the other one honey i called you and you didn't answer so now you're actively receiving a voicemail of what i'm saying right now so you want to come say hello to yourself pull yeah. a gp this is you where are you at damn phone <laughs> i can't <laughs> I didn't Did you know about that? You me and Our grandpa used okay. to call his own phone no, to try with his house phone to try and find his cell phone. <laughs> <laughs> and Mama would have to, and Nikki would have to go through all these voicemails. And it's him going, where are you at, you little son of a bitch? I heard you ringing. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Fay, where's the phone? <laughs> After this podcast, I'm going to listen to that voicemail. And it's going to be a great voicemail. You still on it? No, I, oh. I ended it after, okay. yeah, at, like a second ago. Okay. I just Anyway, so I'm holding this away from my beverage because I don't know what type of new disease I'm going to get from yeah. it. <laughs> um, that looks worse than the other one we have. I know, and this is why I grabbed it yesterday. I stole this. There's still sand on it, by the way. <clears throat> All on the red. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> anyway, so that, that ball found me. I didn't find it, yeah. and I figured it would be a great 
uh, additive to the uh, other. I'm sure Timu has some sunglasses that will fit it too. Yeah. Um, but anyway, <laughs> so that beach ball is <laughs> out there now. <laughs> um, found me as I was putting the coolers back into the truck uh, after fishing yesterday, yeah. and I it came bouncing across the street and dodged every <laughs> vehicle, car, truck, van, whatever across nice. Pensacola Beach Boulevard. It's like a movie. Yeah, yeah. and and it. It found me, and I just threw it in the bed of my truck, and I think it was the little kids across the way, but now they're beach balls. Mom, I can't find my beach ball. Yeah. Hey, come on. I told you not to lose the goddamn thing. You weren't going to get another one. <laughs> the wind, the blew wind stole her ball. Now I'm going to beat your ass when we go home for losing your fucking ball. It cost me $5. Yeah. Son of a bitch. Yeah. Now some oh, fucker, God. some funny puppet man's going to get it, put it on the podcast show or something. Well, oh, goodness. When, now when, I'm going to have to steal you another one. <laughs> 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 you know how much that cost? Five dollars. But if I was free, I stole it. it Risk my freedom. <laughs> nice. Don't ask for nothing again. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm going to have to steal you another one. <laughs> oh, that's good. Uh, we found one of the most Bu- Beulah, Pensacola people ever at the gas station. The oh, my day. God. <laughs> Which gas station? The, the Circle K right of beer. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Dude. Uh, he's <laughs> James went inside to get Zinnies. Zinnachinas. Zinnies. Yeah. Tucker, Tucker Carlson. Tucker Carlson. Yeah. <laughs> uh, nonetheless. And there was this guy, and he had his hat backwards and his shirt off. He was tan. He was, mm. like, dark, but he was Beulah. Did you ask him to go fishing? He was Beulahese. <laughs> 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 nudge, nudge, wink, wink. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Only on Saturdays. Yeah, right. Um, but his wife was walking. Like, he was pumping the gas in his truck, and his wife was walking inside. And he said, I got a joke. Why did the chicken cross the road? And she turned around, and he said, Go get me more lottery tickets. <laughs> <laughs> and then James heard the rest of it because I had uh, I was throwing away trash. I was oh, in my man. truck, and and then uh, apparently great. he asked her to get her get him ice cream. Get some ice cream. <laughs> like, like, ice cream and lottery tickets. He's like, woman, get my ice cream. <laughs> ice cream and lottery tickets at uh, what was it about eight thirty nine a.m. is yeah. crazy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and and she she was wearing a pink cowboy hat. Hell like yeah. Booty shorts and a top. <laughs> and he was just standing there, no shirt on, jean shorts, beer gut just hanging out. I think his tits were longer than his gut. Like, <laughs> his tits. <laughs> then they got in our house and drove off into the sunset. Exactly. <laughs> well, why did the chicken cross the road? To get lottery tickets. <laughs> <laughs> to show the armadillo that it could be done. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> and then the armadillo fucked up. I've never seen an armadillo successfully cross a road. They always get hit. <laughs> I've never seen a chicken cross the road. I've only seen dead armadillos attempting what the chicken told well, them the to do. Well, the chickens do. make it, the armadillos. <laughs> yeah. The chickens can fly. You can drive <clears> on <throat> the you can drive on the interstate to New Orleans sometimes. You see dead alligators on the sides. In, no way. In uh, Mexico, you can have a bunch of chicken cross the roads jokes because those things are everywhere. <laughs> Non-stop, man. Just running. I like oh having, my God. I like having chickens around, though. They eat bugs. I, yeah. thought, that, I thought that was a pet. They eat shit. A pet? <laughs> what? I thought that was a racist joke that you made. <laughs> and you were calling Mexicans chickens? No. They're <laughs> everywhere on the road. <laughs> None of them speak English. What the fuck? <laughs> you ever try to talk to a dog? Mexican chicken? <laughs> <laughs> Some bitch didn't understand nothing. I adopted a dog from Mexico. <laughs> I'm embarrassed. <laughs> no, yeah. I mean, there's I thought, every, <laughs> every time I've been to Mexico, chickens are always running across the road. <laughs> Some of them are making the food. Some are trying to sell you something. Yeah. <laughs> the most asshole bird I ever met was a peacock. Peacocks are assholes. I've I heard swear. peacocks are assholes. Like, yeah. First of all, they'll charge your car when you're driving near them. Yeah. Like, And then... They're so f***ing loud when they have sex. No, they're like, oh, I didn't know that's where that was. Because <laughs> they have, they have. A what kind of hotels season. are you staying? <laughs> <laughs> the ones on the beach <laughs> <laughs> on Memorial Day weekend. Yep. Yeah. After a fishing trip, peacock. I'm about to say. <laughs> Tom turkeys are just as bad or worse than the peacocks. Mm. They will attack you and peck the shit out of you. That's why we eat them. You eat peacock? 
<laughs> I'll eat anything twice. Oh, no. Twice? Yeah. Oh, fuck. Yeah, be- <laughs> where, where'd you have Peacock? No, I'm just joking. I didn't uh, eat him. <laughs> I was staying with his grandparents up in Indiana one year, and the Tom Turkey, they had turkey. They had a Tom and a female. And they do fly late in the afternoon. They get mm-hmm. up in their little roost. And his turkey kept attacking him, and he just beat the shit <laughs> out of that turkey. <laughs> Uh, well, fucker, no, not anymore. <laughs> I told you to stop. <laughs> oh man! You said Indiana. What part? Vincennes. Mm. My uh, my grandfather's from Salem, Indiana, originally, <sighs> where they did the witch trials. Um, unfortunately, not. This is definitely a sundown town. <laughs> mm. So, Jerry, you have any funny stories? I read some books recently. One of them was called uh, Antlers in the Tree Tops by Who Goose the Moose. You ever, you ever heard of that one? It's like a kindergarten book. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like a picture book. So then like I, I read this other book. It was Yellow River by I.P. Freely. Uh, <laughs> and the best one I read was Under the Grandstand by Seymour Butts. Yeah. <laughs> Y'all familiar uh, with those books? Uh, yeah, the um, the I.P. Freely, he has a brother. And uh, his brother created a song called Rusty Bed Springs by I.P. Knightley. <laughs> 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 Um, uh, Kim's probably going to hate me for this one, but the the joke Uh-oh. you, you told earlier, I want I want you to say it. I want you to tell the joke. It's your joke. And I don't want to. I don't want to plagiarize. You want to put my life in danger? I'll say it if you, if, 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 if if you're. You mean the joke about where she used to fart in the bathtub and bite the bubbles? Yeah, <laughs> bite the bubbles. <laughs> That was a long time ago, guys. Come on. Damn. <laughs> Why does this taste weird? Oh, man. It tastes you like have... soap and shit. <laughs> you have chili? Fart in a bathtub, bite the bubble. That's good. That's yeah. a podcast name. Yeah. <laughs> Fart in a tumble, bite the bubble. <laughs> I messed it up. <laughs> Fart in a bubble and bite the bathtub. <laughs> it's so hard. These words. We've been drinking. Matty has them. His titles well, might you be. bite so many bubbles, you get freaking loose as shit. <laughs> I think I've already had six tub. drinks. Dude, yeah. I, so I kind of messed up the measurements. I read it wrong. I was reading dyslexically. <laughs> I put uh, two ounces of uh, the vodka, two ounces of Grand Marnay, and then a thought of orange juice in it, and then Sprite. So and there. what's wrong with that? Uh, nothing, because it actually is a lot better this way. It, it is, is good it to is. me. Yeah. Um, when you're up in Baltimore, I'm going to take you to where I normally get mine. All right. And yeah. you're probably going to be like, James, yours are trash. <laughs> <laughs> as long Because as, I use Grand Marnay instead of a triple sec. It's the, the superior orange-flavored yeah. liqueur, so... They use actually fresh pressed oranges, and and it's at every bar. Uh, all right. Well, mm. when I go up to Baltimore, in so there's a lot of orange plantations up there. Yeah, yeah that's what they keep Florida in Sorry. business. Sorry, yeah. <laughs> you're good. Yeah, Florida in business. I've been yeah. trying to keep track. It's a little bit difficult. Sorry, folks. <laughs> <laughs> There's uh, four microphones. It's bound to pick up something at this point. Yeah. I don't know how it got started. I think it was from uh, a beach town in Maryland, um, Ocean City. Uh, but beaches up north are trash. Yeah. I've you have heard, to yeah. pay for them. You have to pay to go to the beach. The sand what? looks like this table color. Man. What? Yeah. That's ridiculous. Even when we moved to South Carolina, it was that way. Yeah. Anyone that was worth going to was trash Myrtle beach and all that. But the sand or is like this color and it's like That's, really shelly. Yeah. It's not real fine. Like That's ours. how Louisiana sand is down south. And, that's yeah, why but it's swamps. That's that's a given. I don't go to Louisiana going, where's your beaches? Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> I want to go to the swamps and get some mud bugs and do, you know, I'm, I'm not going there to look at a beach. Y'all come here for the beach. I think it's because of the, uh, they let the uh, shrimpers and Mendenhaden guys with their nets. Yeah. And it brings that dirty water. Plus, in I mean, you had the Mississippi that kind of, you know, discharges there too, all that river water and everything. 
you know. Discharge. Yeah, you got to be careful discharge. with your discharge. Yeah, dirty discharge. That's a podcast. Oh. Dirty discharge. Oh, that's a stripper name. <laughs> wow. Dude. Welcome to the stage. Dirty, <laughs> dirty discharge. discharge. That should Blue be the thing. <laughs> the stripper name down in Hawaii. That's what oh, that should be. Oh, man, dude. That was rough. <laughs> yeah, dirty discharge would be doing her no good. Oh, God. Is that the goldfish lady? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the goldfish lady. Why is it so slimy? <laughs> Yucky. <laughs> Yucky. That's just dirty discharge. Um, it off. Mom, what's for supper? <laughs> Dirty dish. Fish. Just hold on a second. Uh, yeah, hold on. Let hold me get on. it out. We're having fish sticks. Yeah. Oh, yikes. Yummy. <laughs> That's so awful. Uh, uh, Jerry, any other uh, comments, questions, concerns, or stories? Or No, not at the moment. Let me think. Oh, my head's itch. I wrote some stuff down, but I didn't bring it. No. <laughs> Did you get a speeding ticket this time? Or what did you get last time? Eagle Eagle U turn. No. Kim no. got the Eagle Eagle U turn. She yeah. was driving at that time. And I said, Well, if you go in that grocery store there, you can just come out and take a left. She goes, No, I'm going to go all the way down and do it the right yeah. way. Uh, mm-hmm. There you go. Uh, James? Uh, nothing too crazy. Okay. Yeah, sorry. Mm, nothing too crazy. No, man, I'm good. Nothing. All right, hold on. Let me, let me just check. Uh, oh, <laughs> all right. One more thing. One more thing. One more thing. Because I had this screenshot and I wanted to bring it up. I don't know how true this is, yeah. um, but I did see where Antonio Brown had to file for bankruptcy. Yeah. What? That does yeah. not surprise me. Yeah. No, it, it, it didn't surprise me Ooh. either. Uh, Antonio Brown, the, the clown CTE the clown. player. Yeah. The one that cost me $5,000. Yeah. can't put that on your bankruptcy claim. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. You Once owe you me that. Bet. Dude, he... Prevented me from winning uh, that fantasy league. Uh, that fantasy league. Oh, yeah. yeah. All yeah. I needed was five points. He got me 2.75 because he decided to take a shirt off and do jumping jacks <laughs> out of the fucking field. <laughs> and I lost. <laughs> Cost me five grand. Oh, there you go. Did I tell you about the naked lady? <laughs> I don't know. Wow. She'll bankrupt you too. A couple yeah. weeks ago, this naked lady robbed a bank. And the police got all pissed off because... No one could remember what her face looked like. <laughs> <laughs> Touche. Oh, this was uh, one thing that I, I kind of wanted James to speak on, and this is the last thing we'll end on this. Um, but there was another whistleblower for Boeing that miraculously uh-huh. died. That's funny you bring that up before you comment on that because I just told Crystal last night, I'm like, all right, look, if my neighbor, right, all of a sudden, he has charges pressed against me. He comes up missing or dead or whatever. Yeah. I'm going to jail. No questions asked. Yeah. You're guilty now until you prove yourself innocent. Okay? Mm-hmm. These people are just falling off. Yeah. And every time they're going to come out and say something, nope, they're dead. And nobody's blinking an eye. And apparently, the first guy wasn't suicidal at all, according to his family. No. And then- he even said, I'm not suicidal when I go here. Like, I will not kill myself. Yeah. And they found him dead in a parking lot. Uh, self suicide gunshot yeah. wound, yeah. What's the story behind this business? So is this a Florida thing? No, it's no. Boeing, Boeing, the the airplane maker. Oh, and, oh um, Jesus. But the door ripping off and all that yeah. stuff. Yeah. And then there was a whistleblower that came out that said that Boeing was using like reused parts or used Yeah, parts I read I remember reading that shit. Yeah. yeah. And then uh this guy, like the night before his testimony or whatever, that he was mm-hmm. gonna testify against Boeing, um, they found him with a self-inflicted gunshot wound in my ass, right? Yeah. And then recently, now you're talking <laughs> sitting sit next to him. What's in y'all's drinks? Yeah. <laughs> now he's talking about my ass. My ass. Oh. <laughs> and then, uh, like within the last couple of weeks, there was another guy who died from what was it like some weird mm-hmm. uh, respiratory deal or whatever? It's like oh, okay, yeah, COVID's yeah. long gone, buddy. Yeah. Okay. When when I got on the plane to come down here, right? I had first of all, <laughs> I had the best seat on the plane. It was right next to the door. It was, <laughs> and it was it was great. I'm like, this is nice. I got leg room for days. Yeah. And then I hear this lady behind me. She's like, <clears throat> Excuse me, excuse me. Is this the plane where the doors come off? Wow. <laughs> and then I'm like. I don't think I heard that right. And then the flight attendant didn't listen to her. So she's like, excuse me, is this a plane where the doors come off? And I turned to the guy next to me and I was like, 
I mean, any door can come off if you try hard enough. That's I'm fair. like, I hope she doesn't do that. And she's like, yep, me too. And I'm like, this is a 737. <laughs> <laughs> I said it louder than I should have. But he's like, no, no, no. This is a 900 series. It's not the 800 series. And I was like, oh, okay. And the flight attendant's like, oh, no, we just took this plane down from uh, Minneapolis. So the doors didn't come off then. And I was like, you're all good there, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> Why don't we just talk about fucking bombs? Too? Yeah. <laughs> Is this the one that blows up? <laughs> does this go into the tower? Yeah. Does, does this plane track, you know, does it crash in the buildings? <laughs> does guys- it mysteriously get lost and sink in the ocean yeah. somewhere? Oh Do y'all have a building deterrent system or something <laughs> built in onto this bitch? Or what's up? Like, but how does that comfort you? Like, if someone told me that, like, no, we just flew the plane here. It's like, but that doesn't make the doors less likely to come off. Yeah, yeah that just means like, you got lucky one more time. Yeah. Like, this was the plane. They just put a new door on it. Yeah. Congratulations. <laughs> oh, if I was a flight attendant, I'd say that. <laughs> that would be my first and last day being a flight attendant, is yeah. what I would say. If the doors come off, I'd be like, oh, well. Yeah. One time when I was in Indiana, they I worked at a turkey plant, and they flew me to a uh, North Carolina to learn how to repair this particular machine that wrapped the cellophane and all that around the styrofoam and the bird. And on the way back, I'm sitting. It was propeller planes. It was not a jet. <laughs> and then I'm sitting in my seat, and I look out the window, and there's the fucking propeller right fucking <laughs> yeah. there. And I'm going, God damn. So once we got in the air, there wasn't that many people on the plane. Once we got in the air, I changed fucking seats. Yeah. Right yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I've been on a prop plane two times, and once was to go to Key West oh, years ago, and dude, it's yeah. it's like, oh man, I hear I hear what's wrong with it, and I'm not even a mechanic. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and it was like one night it was on a night where there was like 150 lightning strikes, and it's just nuts. Indiana has a lot of lightning. Oh, it's scary as shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think I took one from Miami to Pensacola. And it actually flew over the Gulf, and it was, it was like the budget airline of budget airlines. <laughs> was it Silver Airways? Is that what it was? It sounds familiar. Yeah, Silver de- definitely does like nonstops from like here to Tampa or here to mm-hmm. uh, uh, Orlando or whatever. I didn't know if that was, but it was definitely a prop plane. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Well. All right. Well. Uh, yeah, yeah, there you go. You got it. <laughs> well, I mean, at I the end of the podcast. See if you were gonna move yeah. it, uh. <laughs> uh, so, anybody, any comments, questions, or concerns, stories, jokes, anything? I don't think so. I think this is the awkward silence where the video ends. <laughs> All right. Well, with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you guys have a fantastic day. Thanks for joining us on the podcast. If you like the podcast, smash the thumbs up button. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. And leave us drink suggestions, funny stories, funny jokes, anything that you want us to say, talk about, or discuss on the uh, on the podcast. And, um, yeah. And, uh, Jerry, do you have any final words for your fans? Yeah, give us a comment on the content. You know, are you digging it? Is it crap? Come on, let's hear what. Let's write write down what you think. Yeah. What about you, James? Anything Any for your fans? Let's hear what you're writing down. I, <laughs> that's about what I said. <laughs> Pretty good. <close. laughs> in so many words. <laughs> if you like these shirts, they're in the link down below. Yeah, link in the description. Uh, I didn't get the memo because you know <laughs> it was last minute. James stole my shirt of him. And I didn't even know Kim packed it. I didn't even know. <laughs> It was all last minute for all of us. <laughs> I'm just going to leave mine here. Yeah. <laughs> I, I threw my bag under a blanket in there. I was like, I got to hide this. And I rushed up here. Jerry, when, you're, when your kids are knocking on the door, I was like, Jerry, don't answer that yet. Hold on. He's yeah. like, fuck, do I got to answer the door? So I go in the front room <laughs> pretending they can't see me. Which they're seeing you know, me. Yeah. They're looking in the glass like, let me in. And, and I'm like hiding shit to make it look like I'm not here. Yeah. And Lance is like, Fuck, I got to answer the door because no one's answering the door. There's yeah. two people in the living room. Yeah. Yeah. I'm like, hold on. I'm going to go hide upstairs. <laughs> I'm like, where's your shirt? And I'm like, I don't think it'll fit. It definitely does not fit. But Jerry's like, yeah, man, just throw it over just like this. And I was like, all right. Yeah, yeah uh, James's shirt, Odd had that actually made before Jerry's. Okay. And we were going to Hawaii because it was uh, back when Lily was born. Uh, yeah. July will be two years, so two years ago. 
Uh, Audrey had that made, and it was going to be a surprise for me. She gave it to me in Hawaii, nice. and we were yeah. meeting James because we flew in, nice. and we were going to meet him at this restaurant. Are you going to wear that tonight? I think it looks good. <laughs> well, when we we we, we went on <laughs> we went on a booze cruise, right? Yeah. And we convinced the entire group that I was an OnlyFans model. There it is. And Lance oh, won a contest as my number one fan, and they were like, "What type of OnlyFans model are you?" And I'm like. I'm a disappointed dad. So people <laughs> hire me through OnlyFans to help motivate them in their career. Uh, so I'm like, like one lady, she just graduated being a nurse, yeah. right? And I was like, you couldn't be a doctor? <laughs> <laughs> you had to settle for being a nurse? Oh my God. And I was like, that's exactly my content. And she's like, oh my God, that would work so well. I wish you would have told me that. You're so gay. You're so gay. <laughs> <laughs> in Hawaii. <laughs> <laughs> but it worked perfectly and like 12 people on Instagram followed me immediately after that. Nice. All of them from that booze cruise. And I was like, they're going to be really disappointed. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it fit in the, fit in the script. They're yep. disappointed. Down. Yeah. But anyway, guys, so wait, uh, wait one more thing. Okay. One day we all three wore these into public. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> it should it should say on the back if lost return to this guy and it's just Jerry's face. <laughs> <laughs> Someone walks. Have you up. seen this guy? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if you find him, give him a drink. Uh, give him <laughs> a drink. <laughs> but anyway, guys. Uh, so we'll see you guys in the next podcast. And oh, I'm gonna fuck this up. I don't remember. Happy trails. There it is. Oh. Happy trails. <laughs> <laughs> oh, be alive, baby. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I like the O, oh, the happy trails with the oh, yellow button. Oh. Happy trails. Happy trails. <laughs> <laughs> it sounded so perfect. <laughs>